and chat. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to FTL. I didn't really feel like Persona 4 Golden tonight, and it got kind of late, so I figured I would play some FTL, because I had a good time with it yesterday. What's up, Milena? Uh, so let's try out the Taurus this time. Which comes with combat drones. Uh, we will do another easy mode game, because I'm not very good at it yet. Play 2 for layout B. The engine crews are of three drones functioning at the same time. Destroy an enemy ship using only drones, no weapons. Have four enemy systems or subsystems ioned at the same time while using the engine cruiser. Okay, so the ion blast disables systems without causing hull damage. Um, so the only of offense I have is the drones with the Taurus? Interesting. All right, let's start. Oh, I'm in a nebula. That's why my power's off. All right. Uh, let's get the hell out of the nebula. We'll go around the nebula. A rebel ship hails you. Federation scum. We've waited a long time for this. I need three drone systems at a time? Is that it? Okay, so what am I supposed to do if I only have the drone? Okay, the drone is now depowered. I don't understand what's going on here. If the Iron Cannon only hits the shield, and I can't have both the Iron Cannon and a drone going at the same time, how am I supposed to win? I literally cannot kill him. Well, I'm about to fail anyway, so we'll just restart. Wait, how do I have both now? I couldn't before. All right, well... Wait, whoops, I didn't mean to shut down the whole game. Whoops. All right, let's try that again. I swear I tried to have both up and it... It wouldn't let me. All right, back to the Taurus. Let's try again. Oh, drone has its own power. Ah. You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread virulently. They are setting up a quarantine to contain it, but a riot has broken out. Oh, my NG is mechanical. He can't get sick. Okay, send my NG to calm down the infected. With no fear of catching the disease, your NG crew member helps reassure and organize the infected humans. 
Calmed by its extensive knowledge of human physiology, the infected submit to the quarantine in the hopes that a cure can be found soon. The colony leaders offer a reward for helping to prevent an ugly incident. Four fuel, three missiles, twelve scrap. Cool. Uh, we're going to upgrade power so we can have both the weapons and the drone on at the same time. Uh, yeah, the first time, the second time I ever played FTL was yesterday. Uh, the first time I didn't get very far. Uh, Alright, well, that's this star system. Uh, let's go this way. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings, and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on their, on your way. Ah, uh, well, I don't even have enough to pay their toll anyway. charges fast. You can press V to toggle auto fire. Ooh, all right, cool. All right. I need to get more crew members. Nothing special happens if they power if they man the drone station. Ion 2 is hella strong under the right circumstances. You can pretty much lock down shields indefinitely. You can hotkey to your ion cannon by pressing 1. Cool. Alright. Let's go here. Find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. One, attempt to download the ship's data stores or don't risk activating it and just strip the ship for any useful scrap. Uh, I'm gonna... I'll ask, does this start a side quest if I download the ship's data stores or is it just map stuff? Because if it's just map stuff, I'll uh, strip the ship for scrap. to find out. Fair enough. Uh, I'll download the ship's data stores. You accidentally reactivate the ship's AI, its weapons immediately go online, prepare for a fight. Alright, fair enough. Got it, cool. Uh, let's not go into the nebula, let's go this way. You're immediately contacted by a settlement. Hello, travelers. Your ship seems to be outfitted for combat. Care to take up a bit of mercenary work? Uh, listen to their offer. A space dock is under assault from the rebels. Although the dock is technically illegal within their laws, it's very important for our trade. We'll pay you in fuel and scrap if you promise to save them. Yeah, I'll do that. Agree to rescue the store. They transmit the space dock's coordinates, added a quest marker to your map. Oh, cool. All right. West. 
Once you arrive at the beacon, you detect a rebel scout assaulting a compound on a nearby desolate moon. Engage the rebel and rescue the space dock. Oh, my power's off. Oh, shit. Got it. Awesome. Two hull points repaired. The outpost hails you. Thank you. I didn't. I don't know what you did to anger the rebels, but they were ready to kill us. I'll show you our goods and patch up your health. Nice. Uh, crew teleporter or cloaking. I don't have enough for either. I could hire somebody though. Uh, what's on page two? Shield charge booster. Ship's shield recharge rate by 15%. Ooh. Allows the ship to jump to any previously visited beacon. Interesting. Adds additional info about nearby beacons on the star map. My primary combat ability is drones, so I should buy a couple of those. Let's buy a couple drones and hire Felicity. All right, Felicity. You're gonna go to shields. Uh, jump. All right, back towards the uh, sector jump. This beacon has been placed too close to a supergiant Class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. Pirate moves into engage. have a weapons platform, they just have drones. Alright, we're overheating, I get it. Got it, awesome. Uh, oh, I got a fuel, a drone, and some scrap, cool. Uh, oh shit! Ship's on fire. Oh god, we can't jump! We're gonna die! drive charge oh come on come on come on oh my oxygen is dying oh let's get the hell out of here to the store I did do the tutorial yeah find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels they hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale Let's deal with the problems on the ship first. Oh god. Where's the airlock? There's the airlock. There goes my pilot. We're going to restart cuz uh cuz this is bad. All right, we're going to we're going to restart. Oh, I keep reading save it quick. Closes FTL. Let's try the Taurus again. And this is me on easy. P 
Power the Ion Blast. Uh, let's go to the Distress Beacon. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Uh, let's help against the spiders. Why not? We just started the game. We can always reset if this fucks us. Your crew boards a station, cautiously moving between corridors. Suddenly, a man-sized arachnid bursts from a vent in the ceiling, followed by countless more. You fight your way back to the airlock and are forced to leave before accounting for all crew members. Not everybody made it back. Oh, that's where I couldn't... Uh, why it was taking me a minute to jump. I didn't have somebody manning the pilot's chair. Uh. Alright. Uh. Yeah, that was something that hurt us too badly too early. Uh, Alright, well, we're going to reject that offer. Oh, intruders! Shit! I am not timing this well. Ship repeatedly hails you. It looks like they want to surrender. I will accept that offer. Thank you. Uh, where's the med bay? There's the med bay. Early game, your best strat is probably to vent air on the entire ship except wherever your crew is, which makes the fires much more manageable. That drops my oxygen very quickly, though, is what my worry is. Uh, Alright, well, we dealt with this guy. Let's jump to a distress beacon. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone is on board. Hail them. As you hail the refugee ship, a slug ship jumps into the system. I was told about the slugs. I wasn't told anything about the slugs, but I was told they exist. It was hunting the refugee ship for sport, and now they found you instead. I told it to auto fire. Why is it auto firing? Oh, we've already got some hull damage. All right. All right, this guy's almost dead. Cool. Three fuel, a missile, and 22 scrap. Nice. Contact the refugee ship. The refugee ship claims the slugs have been hounding them since they left their home world. As a gesture of goodwill, and seeing how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship, they offer up what supplies they can spare. Three fuel, a drone, and twelve scrap. Awesome. The oxygen percent doesn't actually matter, it's just a way of counting how much of the ship is filled with O2. What matters for the crew is the O2 in the room they're in. Alright. Uh, we should upgrade shields. Uh, all right, onwards. Uh, this way. 
You receive a transmission. Sorry, sir, this is nothing personal, but we're under orders. The rebel ship's weapons go hot. Not enough power for the drones. Ah, come on. Ow, rude. All right, it shut off. It dealt damage to the weapons. That gives us time. I wish I could direct the drone. No, don't kill the piloting. That's useless. Uh, oh yeah, I'll accept that offer of surrender. Uh, all right, repair. The map of uh, FTL reminds me of the RE2 board game that my friend Sean and I have been playing for the past couple months. What do you get for manning the shield? Hang on. Faster recharge with manning shields. Okay. Uh, oh, a store. That I can't buy anything from. A transmission from the nearby planet indicates an outpost below which offers supplies to travelers. You send down an away party to check it out. Uh, oh, system repair drone. Ooh. Requires a drone part to deploy but will not need to be deployed again until destroyed. They stay on ship and help your crew as long as they are powered. That might be worthwhile. I think I'm going to get that. I wish I could buy another drone. Yeah, I'll, I'll see. Uh, this. Repair my hull. All right, drone activated. Uh, onwards to this location. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you in your ship. I'm going to demand the surrender of their goods. I'm poor. Prepare to secure their cargo by force. Oh, it would not surrender. All right. They look like they don't want to fight. They are trying to escape. Not enough power. Almost dead. Got it. Awesome. Three fuel, a drone, and 14 scrap. Awesome. Ship appears to have been transporting prisoners. Unfortunately, they were all killed in the battle. You salvage what you can. Well, now I feel bad. Okay, that does not cost more drones whenever I turn it off and on. Cool. Uh, Alright, next system. Distress Beacon. You arrive to find a ship floating among some debris. Hello, our impulse drives are shot and we can't jump. Could you give us some fuel? I have... Holy shit, I have 26 fuel. God damn. All right, have, have two fuel. Have fun. You gave them the fuel. Thank you so much. We don't have much to offer, but have a look at the sector scans we took. Your map is updated. 
Well, I'm almost out of this sector, so that was mostly useless. Oh, well. Uh... Alright, Distress Beacon. Follow the Distress Beacon to a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Hail them to offer assistance. They respond, help! Our shields are down and we won't last long. Send a repair drone to fix their shields. Your drone succeeds in keeping their ship from breaking apart while they fix it. However, you take some damage while attempting to leave the asteroid field. They offer you some military supplies and thanks for saving them. Pike beam, huh? 21 scrap. Oh, shit. Uh, oh. Okay, fire's dead. Uh, pike beam, huh? Don't have enough system power. I don't have enough money to upgrade the system power enough. We'll just sit on the pike beam for now. Uh, Alright. Sector exit. So you have a message from a small convoy. They're looking for some military supplies and are offering to try to improve your reactor in exchange. Uh, I don't need the missiles. Uh, I can spare two drones. Sure. Upgraded the reactor by one. What does that mean? Oh, this. This is the reactor. I got extra power. Cool. Uh, all right. Next sector. Uh, engine controlled or pirate controlled? Let's go to the engine controlled sector. You have arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. Uh, all right, well, we only have one place we can jump to, so let's go here. Upon completing your jump, uh, greetings and welcome to our beacon, small fee, reject their offer. No, hit their weapon systems, you stupid drone. Hit their weapon system. It's trying to escape. But I killed its engine. Got it. 27 scrap and a drone. Awesome. F f redeemed my drone use. Well, that did jack all to me. Uh, ooh, a store. I have 62 scrap. Let's go to the distress beacon and then the store. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Uh, I'm going to carefully cut the ship out and see what happens. You use your beam to make a few precision cuts in the asteroid. The ship gives a quick burst of thrust and the rock crumbles away. They thank you and offer some of the resources they have collected. They collected a lot of resources. I'm glad that... Holy shit. I'm glad I jumped here before the store. Damn. To the store. An engine ship hails. Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Uh, all right. Automatic reloader. Cooldown between weapon shots is improved by 10%. Uh, 
Protects your ship from ion damage, giving a 50% chance to negate it entirely. Cool. Uh, initial info about nearby beacons. Crew teleporter, cloaking. I can hire. We're going to fix our hull. Then we're going to hire Lartalis. And buy a couple drones. And some fuel while we're here. Alright, where are we putting you? Shield Bay. <laughs> Alright, onwards. Now let's go to this distress beacon. You arrive at a smoldering NG research station. It's distress call unanswered. Attacked by pirates, or mantis most likely. There may be someone left alive, or else something of value left on board. I will board the station. Your away team reports a wounded NG in a functioning drone schematic. Then someone yells, the station reactor is overloading and they're running out of time. Well, I'm going to save the NG, duh. One of your crew valiantly grabs the NG and throws it into the airlock right before the reactor blows and the automatic blast door slams shut. You have no choice but to mourn their sacrifice and move on. Come on. Uh, but I... Magmar? The NG is named Magmar? Cute. Well, I've replaced my crew member. That was the one that I had just bought. All right. Well, enjoy the post of the guy that just saved you. Uh, this way. You come across a Mantis Raider taking pot shots at a defenseless NG supply station. Discovering its weapons aren't much of a match for the station's armor, it turns on your ship. Battle stations. Is it going to teleport people aboard my ship? Uh. Oh, fucking ow. No, shoot, shoot the weapons. Got it. Okay. Whew. A drone. Uh, redeemed my drone. Got a fuel and 28 scrap. Sick. Oh, I should have sent one of my units to repair that instead of using the system repair drone. Duh. Would have gotten them EXP. Oh, well. Oh, a store. Cool. And it's right next to the sector exit. A message arrives. Your scrap ours. Our weapons for you. Uh, Alright, I've heard that. Heavy ion. Ion weapons can disable systems without causing hull damage. Ion damage 2. For every one point of ion damage, one power bar is removed from the target system, and it is then locked for 5 seconds, preventing repowering. If an ion weapon hits shields, the damage is automatically applied to the shield system. Uh, ion blast 2. Requires 3 power. Shots per charge 1. Ion damage 1. Charge time 4 seconds. Oh, the heavy ion is charge time 13 seconds. I see. That's not useful. Anti-bio beam. Does no physical damage, but rips through organic material, dealing heavy damage to crew members. Damn. Standard but powerful missile. Okay. I might sell the pike beam. No. I should... Personnel drone. We'll seek out an attempt to destroy any intruders on board your ship.
Oh, I can't buy it. Ugh. I think I'll sell the pike beam. And the system repair drone. I'll buy... this and upgrade my drone awesome now I can deploy both this is some cool music all right sector exit Debris from a battle is scattered around this system. A few pieces bounce against your ship. You passively scan them and discover there is a functioning weapon among them. Ion bomb, huh? What is that? Self-teleporting explosive that uses ion damage to disable systems can target your own ship. <sighs> Requires a missile. Bombs teleport past shields and defense drones to land directly on the ship. Like missiles, they cost one missile to launch. They never damage hull, but can be effective at disrupting crew and systems. You can even launch them at borders on your own ship. Interesting. Well, we'll hang on to it. All right, next sector. Uh, Uncharted Nebula or NG Homeworlds? Let's go to the NG Homeworlds. All right, where can we go? Uh, there's a store right there. We aren't going to get many missiles, so let's sell the Ion Bomb. The bomb is value 27. got for sale. Alright, we're not going to buy anything. We're going to upgrade... We need 105 scrap to get two more bars of drone power. And we need to upgrade our reactor as well. Hmm. Alright, well, we're not going to buy anything at the moment. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. This way. This was the site of a recent battle. Either a show of Mantis force or the engine here weren't disposed to go peacefully. You pick through the pieces. Two fuel, two missiles, and 17 scrap. Nice. Uh, oh, another store. Cool. All right, let's go there. Uh, oh, uh, FTL recharge booster... 10% more scrap from any source. That's the one you guys were telling me was really awesome, right? So I should get the scrap recovery arm? I'm going to get the scrap recovery arm. Let's look at page two first. Repair drones. Healing burst. Ooh. Requires a missile? A healing explosion. That's silly. Uh, we're going to get the scrap recovery arm. All right, next. This away. Arrive in the sector and are greeted by a science vessel waiting by the beacon. They hail you and find yourselves low on fuel and have a proposition. I only have 15 fuel, so I'm going to say no.
Uh, let's go to this distress beacon and see what's happening. Hi, Adder. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small or some more alien spiders. I'll take the risk. Your crew slowly creeps up on a cluster of the creatures from behind. Without warning, the giant arachnids turn and charge. However, your team stays in control, and before long, you've beaten them back. They're thrilled with your success and offer you a reward. <laughs> now let's get to the sector exit. Well, let's continue here and get more resources before we go to the sector exit. You arrive just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroying a small pirate craft. A teleporter signal is detected. Intruder on deck! A young mantis in a charred uniform has teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. Well, the mantis were probably the attackers here. Uh, so I'm going to off, as much as I'd like an, a Mantis crew member, uh, I don't feel like fighting the NG. So let's give him the Mantis in exchange for a bounty. The pursuing ship responds with a completely unintelligible message. The young mess Mantis jerks to attention and assumes a battle stance. It was a trap? Oh, balls. Oh, it's fast. Oh, it's fast. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. Oh, my pilot's dead. Oh, I think I'm going to die here. Oh, yep, I'm going to die here. Oh, I'm freezing up. Hold on. Okay. The hell do we do here? I think we're fucked. My drone system is dead. I got rid of my repair drone like an idiot. I was not prepared for this fight. I think I lose. Yep. Oh, I'm I'm super fucked. I'm turbo fucked. Yeah, I'm not going to survive this one. Well, we made it to Sector 4. That's why I always invest in doors early. Wait, what can you get for investing in doors? Best way to kill intruders. What can you do with doors to kill intruders? Alright, what are the ways to get Type A? I have six unique aliens on the Kestrel Cruiser simultaneously. I have 11 systems installed on the Kestrel Cruiser at one time. 
as the Kestrel Cruiser repair back to full health, but it only has one HP remaining. Ooh. Uh, you know what? Let's start a game with the Kestrel. Alright, let's see what you can get for doors. Allows remote opening and closing of doors, upgrades to blast doors, and impede fire spread and intruder movement. Stronger doors are harder to break through, so you open every door between the intruder and the airlocks, draining the oxygen in those rooms and killing them before they can break out. Oh, okay. That makes sense. To the distress beacon. You follow the distress beacon to a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Hail them to offer assistance. Respond, help. Our shields are down and we won't last long. Try to shield their ship with yours. You succeed in preventing them from being entirely destroyed, but your ship took a number of hits in the process. They offer some of the scrap and fuel they were mining out of the asteroid as thanks. Five fuel and 28 scrap? Holy crap. Oh, I got fire. <sighs> I will turn on the weapons just so they're loaded. Let's go here. A Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. I was sending away party to investigate. Find a secret Federation outpost. They are regrettably out of supplies, but are eager to tell you of another secret base. They give you the coordinates. Added a quest marker to your map. Nice. Uh, quest is over there. All right. Well, let's go to the store. There is only one other ship at this beacon, and it is showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, traveler. We were crippled by a band of pirates and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. Uh, ooh. Stealth weapons prevents your weapon fire from disrupting your cloak, allowing you to shoot at will while cloaked. Ooh. Doubling the time it takes for them to jump. Well, I don't need that. Fix. Alright, power one deals two damage. Huh, I might drop the Artemis for the heavy laser. I don't know how much missiles are really going to compare. I'm going to sell for 19. Hmm. I might try that. Because Artemis, the, Ar the missiles are a limited... limited resource. Uh, I'm just going to buy the heavy laser and I won't sell the Artemis. And I'll buy a missile while I'm here. Why not? Uh, let's get closer to our quest. Mercenaries are swarming the galaxy now, knowing that their less than legal services are in demand during this period of unrest. One is waiting at this beacon and hails you. Hire the mercenary to destroy the rebels. Hire the mercenary to scout the sector. Fight the ship. You have no need of his services. Don't feel a need to kill this guy. 
That ship is giving me the finger, yeah. Uh, this way. Recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. Uh, I will attack the slaver scum. Because he will eventually give me somebody to go away. Accept their offer. Uh, Alright, well, we've got a new person. Let's have the man the shields. Uh, let's get out of here. To the quest! After a quick search, you discover the Hidden Federation Space Dock. They offer you some supplies in addition to fully repairing my ship. Well, it was only one hull point, but I'll take it. Three fuel, 22 scrap. Awesome. And a drone, but, you know, whatever. Alright, sector exit. A ship with conspicuous pirate markings is orbiting a nearby moon, broadcasting a simple message claiming to have equipment available for sale. I'll take the risk. Hail the ship. The ship responds, yes, we have an extensive stock. Come aboard and see our wares. No. As soon as you start to reverse your ship, the pirate reveals hidden weaponry and sets off in pursuit. You'll have to fight him to escape. Trying to escape. Got him. Two missiles, a drone, and 18 scrap. Nice. Alright, let's kill that fire. And then repair the med bay. <laughs> Wait for the med bay to refill, then repair the med bay. Come on, fill with oxygen. This will probably make it fill with oxygen faster. No, it won't. It's just standing there. All right, back to the back to the engines for you. The tip on oxygen management, sure. Nebula or Zoltan controlled. Ooh. You've entered Zoltan territory. This species is not renowned for giving anything for nothing, but you can always be assured of fair hearing. <laughs> Let's wait a minute for the oxygen to refill. You want rooms to oxygenate faster? Open all the interior doors after closing the airlock doors. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, it spreads from room to room. It evens out like a vessel. Huh. We should probably upgrade our stuff. Upgrade the engine for more dodge. And get an extra power bar. How about that? Alright, what do we got? Two options. This will take me to a nebula. That'll that's a dead end. Alright. 
Oh, this can get me to here. Okay, cool. Let's go this way. There are some mineral-rich asteroids here that the Zoltan have left idle, but you've none of the necessary equipment to mine them. Aw, oh well. Oh, this will take me just to uh, two nebula options. That sucks. Zoltan ship patrolling this area hails you. This area is off limits. Secrecy is vital. They power their weapons. Whoa, what is up with their shield? Oh, it had a green uh, shield bar. Oh, shit. Okay, I shut their weapons and shields down. Awesome. Got him. 33 scrap and 3 fuel. Awesome. Alright, let's go to this nebula. As you wait for the FTL drive to charge, you have expect to be ambushed at any moment. However, no attack comes. Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, this way. You do have a button specifically for opening all doors. Oh. What button is that? An asteroid belt. Arrive in an asteroid field and are greeted by a Zoltan guard. By attempting to access these closed mining fields, you are in violation of the Natural Mineral Protection Act. Your weaponry will be confiscated for processing. You don't have time for this. Oh, balls. Uh... That goes for shields, that goes for weapons. Oh, my pilot. Uh-oh. Thirty-four scrap and two fuel. Nice. over at subsystems. Uh, subsystems. Next to the door soon. Oh, over on the right. Okay. Ah, X and Z, gotcha. So I heard something about sitting in an asteroid field will trade up your, uh, whoever's manning your shields. Is that correct? Let's sit here for a minute listening to the music and see if that uh, shield XP bar grows. I need a snack anyway. Looks like it's not. Oh well. Distress beacon. 
create another after asteroid field. Your jump interrupts a Zoltan security ship as it follows a Mantis pirate into an asteroid field. They message you. Your presence here will continue to be tolerated, but please do not interfere. I wonder what happens if I interfere. interfere. I'm gonna try helping the Zoltan ship. You overtake the Zoltan and catch up with the Mantis ship in the asteroid belt. Time to make some friends. Got him. As you're salvaging the Mantis wreck, the Zoltan Security Patrol returns with three other ships. You quickly salvage what you can and set off before they can stop you for questioning. 17 scrap. Cool. Oh, balls. Oh, my FTL drive is still charging. Crap. Uh, let's get out of here. Store. I have 89 scrap. Nice. A mantis crew here has hunkered down in the abdomen of a long-dead space whale. The only way, presumably, for them to operate their black market trade without detection. Worth a look? Drone controller cloaking. I've got drones. But I don't have a drone room on the ship. Right? Yeah, I don't have a drone room on the ship. Excuse me. Okay, actual question. If I get drones and install a drone system on my ship, does one of these rooms turn into a drone room? Let's see what's on page two. Oh, scrap recovery arm. Drone control gets you the room. Ah, I see. Purchase comes with three system repair drone. Cool. I'm going to buy the scrap recovery arm and then fix my ship. Upgrading adds autopilot that allows some evasion even without a pilot. Ah, I see. The evasion does require somebody in the pilot's chair, but if you don't, the auto, uh, the autopilot will evade at half value. Got it. Uh, I don't have enough for the blast doors. Let's save up for the blast doors. And jump! Uh, let's head towards the exit. There's nothing here. All right, cool. Absolutely nothing here. That's Nebula. Well, I guess we'll move past the sector. Strange vessel approaches. Uh, I will not get rid of my fuel. I'm lower than I would like. Next sector. Our controlled Zotan Zoltan home worlds. The Zoltan patrol their borders, but let you pass when you ID as Federation. Let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels. All right. Uh, a store that I can't afford. Let's go here and then to the store. Zoltan stationed near this beacon are happy to receive you. As they give you the formal tour of their ship, you spy some local star charts and mentally log the details. Uh, 
Oh, is it letting me start attacking them? Well, I'm not going to do that. Take some time to reoxygenate your ship. Oh, well, it's about to be. Fully oxygenated. Cool. Uh, I guess we go to the store that we can't afford anything in. Asteroid field. Let's go to this store and then that ship location. Zoltan are fascinated by other species and I've set up something of an alien knickknack shop here. Why not take a look? Control, crew teleporter. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I don't have money to hire people. God damn it. All right, let's see what we get here. An unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if you sit tight. I will be a hero. Fuck you. That's a big, that's a big offer. Hi, Blink. What is a weapon pre-igniter? Actual question. Charges your weapons in advance. Ooh. Ooh. And if I kill this guy, I'm not going to get 46 scrap out of it, I assume. I don't like leaving this guy to kill his victims, though. I'm pretty hard up for resor uh, resources. Nor the pre-igniter, yeah. I'm pretty hard up for resources. Do I do the immoral thing? Will I be able to respect myself if I do? Oh yeah, I do need the fuel too. Ooh. Fine, we'll do the bad thing. Why is this taking so long to fix? Ah, there we go. Now heal. Cool. Uh, what do we want to upgrade? I have 15 missiles. We might get power for weapon control and the doors. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. Let's walk away ashamed of ourselves.
A rebel ship moves in to engage. You attempt to open communications, but realize the futility of that action when you see the ship is run by an AI. Oh, is it cloaked? Got it. 33 scrap, two missiles, cool. <sighs> you arrive at a Zoltan security checkpoint set up in a perimeter around the beacon. Traveling vessel, you will submit to crew profiling to identify fugitives of the Empire. The Zoltan security staff board your ship and begin scanning the crew's faces into a computer. Suddenly, alarms go off and the Zoltan leap on one of your crew. This person is wanted on five charges of utter villainy. Surrender them to us. Refuse. They sabotage my weapon system. Oh shit, that's a lot. Oh fuck. Oh, I'm so boned! I'm fucked. I can't... I'm gonna die before my FTL drive. Start pausing at the start of combat. Good point. I could suffocate them. All right. Damn it. Well, it's too late now. I shouldn't have let them board my ship. Lessons for next time. Let's try again. Let's go this way. Ship with conspicuous pirate markings is orbiting a nearby moon, broadcasting a simple message claiming to have equipment available for sale. FTL, but it's not going to make it. Got it. 19 scrap, 2 fuel. Cool. And a missile. This way. A uh, missile's primary purpose is it passes through shields, right? An especially well armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members, and the rest of you can go free unharmed. You will never surrender one of our crew to slavers. Fuck you.
Ah, accept their offer. Cool. All right, new friend. Repair the cameras so we can see the damage. I think there's fire. Ah. Uh, new friend, man the shields. That was not fire. That was a um, that was a hull breach. Distress signal. We used our last FTL fuel to jump to this station. They indicate a burnt out husk of debris and warped metal. As you can see, the war must have spread to this sector. We've been stranded ever since. Oh, air flows. I could have opened the door and evened out the oxygen between the rooms. I see. Okay. Does the open all doors button open all open the exterior doors as well? Ooh, a store. There is only one other ship at this beacon. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm one short of a scrap recovery arm. Oh, no. Once opens all interiors, twice opens all doors. Cool. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to... What do we have to sell? Nothing we can sell. Um, let's jump over here, see if we get some scrap, then come back to the store. And get that scrap recovery arm. Scanners indicate that a battle is taking place nearby. It seems that someone is under attack by space pirates. Aid the civilian ship. Power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. Got him. 25 scrap and 3 fuel. Awesome. Contact the civilian ship. Ah, the ship you saved was badly damaged in the battle. Most of the crew accepts your offer to be dropped off at a nearby station. One offers to join your crew. Welcome aboard, Phillips. Alright, newbie. Where are we going to put you? We'll put you in cams. Now we will go back to the store, buy the scrap recovery arm. <sighs> Alright, sector exit. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found in the database. I'll investigate that. You land a small shuttle in an enormous field, whose only occupants are small, brightly colored, six-legged, horse-like animals. Could they be what your scans picked up? 
Bring some of the creatures on board to sell? No! Try to communicate peacefully. None of your attempts to communicate seem to work. They just stare at you silently. As you prepare to leave, one of the creatures canters forward and forcefully nudges you away from the ship. He seems to want you to follow him. Eventually, they guide you to an old NG ship's crash site. Inside, you are able to find and reactivate an NG. Hooray! 3 fuel, 12 scrap, and a crew member. Uh, new crew member, you're gonna man the shields. I think? Human shields is 10% faster recharge. Huh. No difference. Well, where are we gonna put you? We'll put you in oxygen. All right, let's upgrade something about our ship. Oh, if I upgrade this, I can see the enemy interior. Ah, that's what it is. Can, can I, should I upgrade the blast doors? Let's upgrade the blast doors. Ooh, maybe we'll upgrade our engines, actually. Engines at a power bar. Next sector. Uh, engine control. You have arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. Uh, let's go this way. What at first seems to be a simple nebula is actually filled with a good amount of debris from a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage drifts by your screens and tumbles into the depths of the nebula to be lost to sight. It's hard to determine who the combatants were without closer investigation. Let's investigate the battlefield. Scan the battlefield and find little remains. Disappointed you prepare to jump. Well, that's a shame. Aw. There's no point in going to that store, so let's go to this unvisited location first. You notice an NG colony hiding on the other side of a nearby moon. It turns out they're excavating an equipment cache from the Federation Mantis War, and they suggest it might be used to lure the pursuing rebel freight fleet. Booby trapped the cache. You have to invest the power into the engines to get the bonus you bought. Alright, what happens if I booby trap this cache? Fleet delayed by two jumps. All right. Well, that's kind of useless. Transfer down some missile warheads and the NG rigged them to blow before sending a distress signal to attract the fleet's attention. All right, onwards. This still has a connection to the store, so let's go here. Receive a message from a small convoy. They're looking for some military supplies and are offering to try to improve your reactor in exchange. I can't afford to drop... I can't... I cannot afford to drop that fuel. Alright, on we go, I guess. See a small rebel carrier in the distance. You lay low and try to blend in with the other traffic. However, it's surprising to see a rebel military ship alone deep in NG space. We don't get to fight it and kill it? Oh, well. Uh, distress Beacon. You follow the Distress Beacon to a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Hail them to offer assistance. They respond, help! Our shields are down and we won't last long. Try to shield their ship with yours. 13 scrap for 4 damage? Oofs! Despite your best efforts, the civilian ship breaks apart from the constant barrage. You are barely able to break out of the asteroid field yourself. The ship sustains some damage in the process. 
Well, that sucked. Uh, let's go to this distress beacon. Oh, it's an asteroid field. Balls. Pirate ship was lying in wait inside this asteroid field. It immediately moves into attack. Turn and fight. Broke his O2. They broke my doors, though. He's trying to escape. But it won't make it in time. Ha ha! 25 scrap. Nice. Let's get out of here. This is a good track. System appears quite peaceful. You're not sure how long it'll last between the combined threats of the Rebels and Mantis. Oh, I've got single-digit fuel. Find an abandoned mining station on a nearby moon. A quick scan shows no life forms. However, you discover a usable drone schematic. Scrap and an anti-personnel drone. Uh, I do not have a drone system installed aboard my ship. Uh, how do I install a drone system aboard my ship? Because I have that anti-personnel drone now. Actual question. What, do, what special thing do I have to do? Do I have to buy a drone system specifically from a store? You do. All right. Well, maybe we'll sell that anti-personnel drone. Oh, uh, maybe not. Uh, system exit. Small NG research vessel is trying to fend off a Mantis ship. You move in to engage, but after a quick scan of your ship, the Mantis ship retreats. The NG offer you a drone schematic as thanks for your timely arrival. Cool, 16 scrap. I'll take it. Next sector. Uh, rebel controlled or rock controlled? The rock are enemies? The rock are an enemy faction? Huh. Uh, I guess we'll see what the rock are about. The rock people are a powerful and proud race. It is not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through their lands, but don't count on it. All right, what do we got? We have one path to take, so I guess that's what we're doing. Oh, shit. Intruders on board. Oh, God. With their high resistance to heat, outlaw rocks often settle very close to stars. That is why it ha is hardly surprising when your ship gets boarded as you stumble past a hidden set settlement. Oh, shit. Oh, we're so bold. Can I send in more people? I can't. Oh, we're going to lose our people. Oh, right. Oh, and now I can't open all the doors. Crap. I can't open the doors. I guess I lose.
Well, that was a nice try. With a big room, you can gang up on them. Oh, okay. All right, let's try another run. Ew, nebulous. Let's go this way. A rebel ship approaches cautiously. Personally, says the captain, I'd have stuck with the Federation. But I'm a soldier, sir, and I'm no use without a war to fight. Raise your shields. You could jump to another system with them on board? Huh. Okay. up they're not going to survive 22 scrap two fuel awesome without taking any damage myself cool uh this away a stream of clicks and gurgling comes on the comb from a hostile mantis scout the universal translator might be on the blink but his intent is obvious Balls. Stop missing. Okay, well, that room was already damaged, so oh well. Oh, I've got fire. Oh, there's fire in this room. Hear the fire. Fire is done. Oh, do you always start with Bovi Swamps and Ariel? On the Kestrel? Alright, we're going to wait for our oxygen to get fixed. Excuse me. Oh, my shields need repair. Whoops.
All right, let's get out of here. This way. Come on, store. You detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. Intervene to defend the outpost. Rebel responds to your threat. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. They move in to engage. Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> Got him. 26 scrap and a fuel. Nice. Oh, 20 scrap and three fuel. The pompous bastards expected free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for the help. Nice. Nice. 120 scrap. I should upgrade something about my ship then. This way. Your ship is hailed. This is an automated message. Resisting our takeover is pointless. Prepare to die. It appears the rebel ship is run by an AI. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Well, we can't have that. Let's take out its engines. Oh, it shut down my weapons. Balls. Ooh. 11 scrap and 3 fuel for all that. I took a bunch of damage from that. Crap. This way, I guess. Uh oh. Arrive at the beacon to find yourself dangerously close to a star. An automated rebel ship, impervious to the heat, moves in to engage. Almost got it. Got it. Awesome. 25 scrap and 3 fuel. Cool. I've got so much fuel. Holy crap. Hope we don't have anything over here. No, we'll...
can hear the fire. Is it in here? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. Please be nothing. There's a black market hub here. You receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military grade explosives, we'll gladly pay you for them. Ignore the station. We are hurting so badly. <laughs> Holy crap. Let's wait to reoxygenate the ship and then we'll jump to that distress beacon. Get ourselves killed. Let's go. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt, uh, partially crushed. If I dislodge them, they'll attack me probably, but I'm gonna try. Take a few careful shots, but you expose a mineral patch in the rock that reacts violently with your weapon. A shockwave forces you back as debris pelts against your hull. When you regain control, you find there is not much left of the ship. Two damage, twelve scrap. All right. And it hurt my engines. Lovely. Still haven't found any new crew members. I need a store to repair myself so badly. Come across an asteroid mining colony. Uh, they message you immediately saying, Greetings! Our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the rebels blockaded the system. Do you have any extra explosives? Offer to solve their problem by launching a missile. Well, I appreciate your enthusiasm. We have certain protocols for the use of explosives around the workplace. Launching a military-grade weapon into our minds isn't exactly what I would call union-friendly. <laughs> uh, decline, then. I understand. Good luck out there. We'll try to make do with what we have. Uh, next sector. Oh, boy. Uh, we're not going into a mantis system. Holy shit. Oh, Nebula, great. This sector was hit hard by the Rebellion. The many alien settlements and stations that are located here are now watched over by almost an equal number of rebel bases, heavy-handedly keeping the peace. All right, let's get out of this Nebula. Let's go here. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. I will attack the automated ship. an automated ship, so... It can't actually hurt me because it can't repair itself.
Got it. You salvage what you can from the broken ship. 21 scrap. The station was either abandoned or stripped clean. It seems to have lain unused for quite some time. You find nothing useful. Auto ships do gradually auto repair. Ooh. Okay. Noted. Uh, distress beacon. You follow the distress beacon to a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Your spawn help. Our shields are down and we won't last long. I don't have enough hull to survive this. You regretfully leave the area, not able to watch them get destroyed. A short while later, you get a second message. We survived, no thanks to you. Don't think I don't know what the rebels are hunting for you. I'll be sure to tell them where you are the next time I see them. Fleet pursuit doubled for one jump. Uh-oh. <gasps> Store! Oh, a mantis! Drone control, cloaking, and drones, and a scrap recovery arm. I'm going to fix my ship. I'm going to buy a scrap recovery arm. I can get a scrap recovery arm or a minion. Let's get the scrap recovery arm against my better judgment. And upgrade the ship a bit. Distress signal. Haha! -ha! I knew someone would fall into our dastardly trap. Did you just say dastardly on purpose? It appears this distress beacon was nothing but a decoy for a pirate ambush. Ow! Rude! Uh, your ship is surprisingly well equipped. Please take this and let us live. Deal. You're a Bovee, so you go here. store. Now let's just go to the sector exit. A ship with conspicuous pirate bar orbiting a nearby moon. Equipment for sale. Uh, this is a trap. Attack him before we can attack. Twenty-two scrap, two missiles. Nice. Uh, next sector. No, hang on. Do we want to go to the store? We have 17 fuel. Let's go to the store. You receive generic advertisements from a nearby public shipyard. It seems they are willing to work on any ship, not only those of Rebel Hue. could hire somebody. Oh, I'm just short of hiring an NG. Oh, oh well. Yeah, let's hire a crew member. And fix our hull. Alright, newbie, you're going to shields. Uh... 
Uh, let's go to the energy home worlds. I don't want to tango with the rock right now. All right, where are we going? Got nothing I can get from the store, so let's go to this distress beacon. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving us the distress call. Shall we investigate? It could be dangerous. Yeah, let's investigate. Find what appears to be pieces of a derelict ship coated with ice or crystal before you have a chance to dock. A few asteroids get past your shields and partially damage your engines. You'll have to pull out. Aw, and I could have gotten that side quest started. Oh well. Alright, let's go. Distress Beacon. You find a number of ships for the, uh, send a crew to help. Arrow is gone. Damn. Well, Layla, now you're uh, the weapons manager. Oh, this has been a run of shit luck. Uh, let's go here. The NG are awaiting you at the beacon with their weapons online. They explain a computer virus and is one of your hostile acts. Support your vessel. Well, let's try to purchase system code. This is a bad situation. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, my missile missed. And I'm dead. Oh well. Well, that was fun. Uh, I think that's going to be it for tonight. Um, we will continue this sometime. We will probably continue Persona 4 Golden tomorrow. I'm not sure. In the meantime, um, go check my YouTube to see uh, the preview for what I'm, gonna, what I'm going to be doing every Saturday from now on. Um part zero of that game uh, and check out my Patreon if you want to pick a game for me to play thank you guys for tuning in thanks for hanging out thanks for watching and I will see you next time